Welcome to Selling Digital, where we help you turn your design skills into a thriving online business. Let's dive into today's tutorial and start designing a life you love. All right, so here we are on the KDP cover calculator and templates section. If you are not sure how to navigate to this, I have gone ahead and put a link in the description box below so that you guys can easily get here. But uh, usually a simple Google search of KDP calculator will send you right here. The first thing we need to do is select our binding type and I am using a paperback. If you missed part one and you need assistance in creating the manuscript portion, the inside of your book, please watch step one first and then come back to this video. In this video, we are just going over the cover of your book. So the interior type I'm choosing is a standard color and the paper type is white paper. The reading direction is left to right. Measurement units is in inches for me. And then the interior trim size we used was eight and a half by 11. And the number of pages we created was 100. Now, after we put all that information in, we just need to click calculate dimensions and KDP does the, all the work for us. It's literally magical. So we need to do two different things, or I like to do two different things. We want to download the template that it's created and you can see an idea of what that template's gonna look like here. Don't worry, we don't need to actually cut anything out. Just giving you an idea of what it's going to look like. And then we need to look at where it says full cover because we're going to be creating the full cover in one image. And that is 17.475. So the easiest thing to do is just to copy this. I'll just highlight and do control C and then we'll go over to Canva custom size and we will control v that right in go back to the kdp calculator and the height for the full cover is 11.25 and we already have that in there and now we have this full cover so we know that no matter what this will be the correct size because we use the kdp calculator it's such a pain to do all the work and then to get over to kdp and then find out that it is not correct like something like this here, you go through all the work to make it perfect and then you find out, oh, you're just a little bit off and you have to go readjust things. So always use the template so that you can make sure that you get the proper dimensions. Back in Canva, what we're going to do is we're gonna upload that template that we just downloaded. And all we have to do is click on upload, go to our uploads and bring that in. You will need to make sure that you unzip and that way you can open your template into Canva. So now that we've unzipped it, we can double click and I'm gonna go ahead and just use the PNG file because that's all I need for Canva. And right up here in the file, I'm gonna go ahead and name it as well. So we are doing the ultimate notebook cover. Now we'll know exactly where it is when we go to save it. So selecting the template, we're gonna grab it, move it over to the edge and just pull it and it will be the perfect match. There we go. So now we have this template. So why do we need the template? Well, showed you this situation can happen if we do not use the template correctly or we get the dimensions wrong. But also because it shows you where the front cover is, where the back cover is, and where the spine is. Now, depending on how creative you're going to want to get, maybe you're going to want to put something on the spine. Granted, this spine would be very, very thin because I'm only doing 100 pages. But for instance, if you have a 300 page or more and you have a thicker spine, maybe you have something you want to put here. And the template's going to make it to where you can put things exactly where they need to be and not be covered up or cut off um, by the barcode or by the cut lines and things like that. I like to get an idea of what it looks like and then I like to take it off. It's totally up to you and how you like to do it, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we will put it back on as we design and get things going. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete for now and I'm going to decide what I want my cover to look like. Now I did a cozy notebook, so I'm just going to type in cozy writing, I think and I'm gonna click on photos, and I'm gonna see if there's something that's kind of cutesy, maybe like a cartoony looking image that I can put on the full outside of my notebook. I do love this. Let's see what this would look like on a cover. 
if I were to stretch this out on the full cover and you got to think let's put that cover back up there or that template back up there we'll stretch this out and then what we'll do is we will just drop the transparency down so that we can just see so on the front cover we would have this and then on the back cover it would have this so we could do one big solid image or we could make it completely from scratch and put elements and do all the different things that we'd want to do. I'm not in love with that. So I think I will just keep looking and maybe we'll look for the same thing, but in graphics and see what we can come up with there. So I love the different frames that are coming up here. This is really cute. I like this green. It's a little fancy for a notebook, I think, but... It's a little fancy for a notebook, but you get the idea. Maybe for something else, this would be a really cute idea. Again, just a little too fancy for my notebook. Let's do elements and then type in book cover and see what type of things come up. Oh, these look like real book covers. That's really cool that they have those. Isn't that neat? I really like that. I also love this. I love this. This is cute. I think let's use this, makes sense a little bit, and then let's adjust the coloring a little bit. You might not think you can adjust the coloring, but you really can. You just have to change the way you're doing it. So if we go into Duotone, we can adjust the coloring based on what is in here. So let's say we want a more sepia look. We can click on that and then we can adjust the highlights. So if we want the highlights not to be this color, we can maybe highlight more of an orange. We can move that around and that might go with our vibe a little bit more that we have in our book. I think that looks so beautiful. That's super pretty. And then let's go ahead and put our template back on just so I can get an idea of where we're going to need to put our title. And we will down the transparency a bit. Cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and and then I'll go ahead and take that off for now. And let's go ahead. I'm going to select some text. And we'll just select this one here for now. And then we'll adjust it. And the ultimate cozy. And then we'll make another one here. And then we'll just type in notebook. And we'll make this bigger. And let's go ahead and adjust the font there to something else that just looks a little bit better, I think. I like that. That looks cute. And we can do that one in the same. I love how it doesn't give me the one that we just used, even though I just used it. All right. And then we can go and choose that one for this one as well. And I think I'm going to drop this down. And then let's go ahead and change the coloring. We can sink in maybe like a, oh, that doesn't really catch the vibe. Maybe like a brick red or yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then we'll do the same color for this one. So I'm just doing something simple for this, but of course you can get as hugely creative as you want. Something I do like to do on the back of my books is show off what would be on the inside just because I like the look of that. Um, so if you were to upload a PNG file of each of your inside photos, you could do like this and we can just put a little imagery of what's inside. And then we can even, we can stagger them if we wanted. We can do something like this. Of course, you can do this however you wanted. This is just giving you some ideas and basically just giving you some assistance on how to create a cover in Canva and then also how to then save it and upload it and all of that into KDP. Because I think you know, a lot of videos and a lot of things make it seem like it's a lot harder than it is and it's it's just not the hardest thing is making sure that your stuff is getting seen and getting visible and, and that's a whole other topic of conversation but the first thing you have to do is get it up right the first thing we have to do is know how to get it up on the website so honestly this is the easy part um the other part is significantly more difficult is getting your getting your stuff seen and all of that so maybe i want this one to be like this and be up a little more something like that and then i can grab this text and i can say what's inside and i can let's move just bugs me to have that on the bottom group those together move this up here and put these up here 
And in doing this, we can see we're not on the edges, we're not on the barcode, so we can see where everything is and that makes it so much easier. So now let's go ahead and just delete that background, that template, and we can see what overall it's going to look like. Now again, you can add as much or as little as you want. This is creatively, this is all up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it at this point and we'll do the same that we did for the first round. We're gonna to go to PDF print, we're gonna select CMYK and we're going to download. We'll click on upload your cover file and we will download our cover or upload our cover into this book cover area. Our save was successful and then we will launch the previewer. Here is our cover, it looks great. Everything, as you can see, under the quality check works perfectly. This would be the front side of our book. So the front cover, the back cover, the spine, everything looks lovely. And then, of course, since we have done the previous video here, we can now flip through and we can see all of our pages all together, making us a really adorable, cute, cozy notebook that we can upload to KDP. So that's how easy it is, you guys, to create a KDP book in Canva. It's so much easier than any other platform, honestly. You can get so much more creative. After you're done with your manuscript, and your cover, all you have to do is click approve and then you'll go on to the next section which is pricing your items, making sure that you do get yourself a nice profit there and then it'll go through a review process. Sometimes it can take a few days and it'll let you know once it's up on your KDP website for sale. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with the others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. For even more tips, exclusive videos, and the chance to request personalized tutorials, head over to my Ko-fi page. Become a VIP member to gain access to commercial use files perfect for print on demand and so much more. Join our community of creators and let's design a life you love together. See you guys in the next video.